hard done by, right? The disadvantaged groups, discriminated groups, they're all lined up at the door, right? They're lined up uh, because Smith uh, brings up the valid concern of discrimination against non vax people. No one's talked about that. You mean you can get a fired from a job? Sure. You mean you can be 30 years in the military and get kicked out? Sure. You mean you mean my kid can't go to school? Sure, no problem. They don't want to be questioned on that stuff, Mike. But here we go. Uh, Daniel Smith, the next she does, she apologizes, and then everyone's lined up, lined up to claim victory to, of who's the most discriminated against, right? The victim mentality, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting there saying, well, wait a minute, wait, 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 let me take a step back here. Are you guys telling me that let's start with Zax discrimination, which there was? Uh, Smith made an error in her talking points, uh, but that's another story. But the Vax discrimination was valid. Uh, indigenous groups is valid. Uh, blacks valid. Muslims valid. Everything valid, you know, valid. Uh, Irish, uh, 200 years ago, the Irish were slaves. I mean, a, a lot of valid stuff. But you're, you're telling me you're lined up, and you're, you're, you're pissed off at Daniel Smith for, for claiming that they're a little more victimized than you are. I'm sitting saying, well, sure, well Canada sure discriminated against a bunch of peeps here, haven't they? You got these groups. I thought Canada was nice. You got these groups lined up at the door telling how trash their lives have been under Canada. I'm saying, well, well, Canada's sure have been cruel to its people if I'm to believe them, right? Like across the board. Uh, in the end, it still comes down to the same conclusion, and that's Alberta 51. Stop this nonsense up there. I spent 24 years in Quebec, okay? I understand it. But stop this nonsense. Become a U.S. state because you can. And then with all its flaws in the U.S., and you're going to go through one, a president every four to eight years, so no worries. But at least make your own rules. Be South Dakota. Be Iowa. Be Florida. Because you can. You can have nice things. You deserve nice things. And you don't need to say you're sorry for anything, Mike. Here we go. Off to the races. That whole uh, automatic Canadian apology thing has always driven uh, me crazy. Ah, uh, and it's a joke. If you look at the news broadcasts from Canada, pray tell, in the last 48 hours, Can everything I see, Canada's got to be the cruelest place with the most impolite people I've ever seen in my life. Oh, if that's, you're, you know what, the 100%. Like, I've had people, uh, uh, I, I've, I've talked about this with people before. That whole Canadians are nicer than everybody else thing, that is oh, nothing dude. but a marketing campaign. That's all it is. And I'll tell you what else. It's a marketing campaign aimed at Canadians. And they believe it. They, they, they believe yes. it. If I, if I go anywhere in the world, yes. I could go to Iran with a Canadian flag on my backpack, and they'll all love me, and uh, sure. they'll all sure. write me a check as soon as I walk in the door because I'm perfect and so much better than everybody else. I have sure. spoken to so many people uh, that have talked about the contrast between that Canadian uh, nose in the air, I'm nicer than everybody, as opposed uh. to Southern hospitality, and the two don't even come close. I was talking to we had we had uh, we had to get some web help done with uh, GoDaddy was our old web provider for the AmericanOcRadio.com. I got talking to one of their guys down there, and he was telling me that he could. Uh, uh, Always tell who the Canadians were when he was working at a resort in Palm Springs because they would sit there and backstab each other while discussing uh, how nice they were at the same time. He said it was the most hypocritical uh, thing, and it always made him throw up in his mouth a little bit, but they would do it right out in the open. <laughs> it's true. It is. You know, if it's true. I, I will say, though, okay, in fairness, though, Mike, Remember, this is dueling citizens. We kick stuff back and forth, right? Right. We're, we're, you and I are the grown-ups in the room, you know, and even though we're a different generation, man. But here you go. I, I really have been exploring this Canadian versus American. 